Why is there no Georgian food outside of Ukraine and Georgia? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's like it's the best. Common. We are having the best Georgian food in the world right now in this very restaurant in this very city. Salut. <laughs> Guys, it's a been an amazing month for these two, but this is literally our going away dinner. Yeah. Any last uh, words, David? Oh, it's been a lot of fun. I'm definitely gonna miss Kiev. I'm definitely coming back to Kiev, um, but I'm definitely looking forward to going to the super warm Italy in uh, a couple weeks here. So it's gonna be fun. But wish, wish I could join you, buddy. Yeah, well, we'll see you soon, hopefully. All right. Aline Chick, any well, last yeah. words? I mean, I have to concur. I'm glad I'm not staying here for the winter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be very warm Colombia and uh, Brazil, so cheers to that. We're having the Georgian, which is our favorite cuisine. And David, Alina, it has been a magical, amazing with you guys. So we meet again somewhere in the world. This is, uh, my Cheers. Cheers. Salud. No. Salud. Salud. Nice to love you. Nice to love you. I, however, the true strong slob. Who has never experienced a winter before in his life? <laughs> I've never even experienced an autumn before. Yeah. Yes. As you witnessed today, with me being surprised that leaves fall off a tree. Yeah. I just assume they turn a color. Yeah. I just know that the trees become sticks in the ground. Yes, that's, how, that's generally how they work. Like literal twigs. I, I can't believe you didn't know that, Johnny. That is, that's mind boggling. Yeah. 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 I'm a California boy that ended up living in Thailand for the last, and Sri Lanka for the last like 10 years. So. to uh, my first winner and if I can survive. So we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll see you guys uh, wherever you guys are. <laughs> Alright, first up we have the Tbilisi salad, which is what walnuts, tomatoes, cucumber, onions, and a sauce, and we have some kind of like chicken Caesar. I wish that was ours, but it's not. But that's like a huge plate of meat and potato. Look at that. What if that was ours, though? I mean, we could make that happen, I feel like. I mean, we could, but there's no way we can finish that. Oh, those ladies over there must be hungry because that was a lot of meat and potatoes. I know, it's just a, like a small table of girls. <laughs> Maybe we should make friends with them and go eat yeah. their meat and potatoes. And they have two bottles of wine. Well, I'm sure they would. over here, like, <laughs> wanting that meat and potatoes for sure. All right, what, what, what should David's line be? What? what should David's line be like? Previate. Uh, yeah, 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 you need some uh, help with those potatoes. Would that work? Yeah, you know, yeah, you sashley. Yeah, that is. Yeah, you sashley. Yeah, you can't speak fast. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think that works better than Ya Yim Sashlik, which means Probably. my name is Sashlik. No, it means I eat chef. Oh, yeah, Yim. Oh, you're right. Yeah. You've been doing the Duolingo, I see. Da. Da. Kanyeshna. <laughs> Good deal. But you have to you have to say it with the the, the catch the catchphrase. What was it? <laughs> repeat after me. Who's repeat after me? Huh? He showed us. Gavuri kakia. Gav Gavuri kakia. Suka. Gadia my sashlik. Suka. Gadia my sashlik. Did you say it right? Suka. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's like, not how you address waste. <laughs> it is correct though, technically, no. not polite, but correct. Oh, spasiba <laughs> boshoy. Oh, and this is the most famous of the Georgian dishes. It is called. Hachapuri Padravsky. Hachapuri Padravsky. Uh -huh. David. 
pop it right in the yolk. Half the, yeah, it's like a half raw egg and with stir it cheese. Around. We're gonna mix it around. And what we do is we take a little piece of it, the bread, dip it in, and you get this amazing. Oh, oh yeah, buddy. Ooh, it's still warm. Warm. It's like piping hot. Mm. Might give this a second to cool off. Don't be a, don't be a super. Just eat it now. Goodbye. <laughs> Mm. Good? This is a small one. Mm -hmm. it's, mm. it's so much better when it's hot, too. Yeah. When it gets cold, it's not even good. Yeah. Hot tip don't ever take this, take it away, or deliver it, because it'll be terrible by the time you have to eat it. You have to eat it hot. Like, you would never know about it if you, if you weren't exposed to it. Right? Yeah. Why is there no Georgian food? outside of Ukraine and Georgia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's no, like it's the best. Yeah. It is one of the best cuisines I've ever had in my life. Yeah. And it just does not exist in Canada or the US or Western Europe or Asia. Like you just, no one's even heard of it. Well, I guess it's just not that much immigration from Georgia or something like that, or people not choosing to open restaurants. Because to be fair, you know, living in Toronto seven years, there was not a crazy amount of like Russian or Ukrainian restaurants either, even though there's a huge population, you know, of especially Russians in Toronto, but they're just not opening restaurants. I don't know why. My theory is Russian food is kind of like basic food that grandma makes, so you just eat it at a home. I always serve them with sour cream. It's uh, meatballs in a dough and a little bit of sour cream, but this is how perfection looks, guys. Well, no, you know what they had? Like in Toronto, all the Russians live in like North York. They live like way the hell up north. And so what they have is like freaking banquet halls. And I'm inviting right here, Olya and Vitali. So it's like if you want like a Russian food party, you gotta bring like you and 20 friends or something and then you can have like a Russian feast. It's not like a dinner for two, it's like a big like party event. That's what they have in Toronto anyway. So if you can get together 18 other friends in the six, <laughs> yeah. we will join you for some Russian banquet cuisine. In Toronto. Uh, yeah. <laughs> The, the says, the says. <laughs> but have you heard of or seen Georgian food anywhere else? Anywhere else? What was your so, first experience? Well, I used to live in San Diego, and they had one restaurant that it was it was Georgian food and Russian food at the same time. So you could get your pelmeni dumplings, you could get your your awesome little Russian salads, uh, you could get the uh, the hachapuri as well. Um, and but my favorite though was the uh, the borscht and the um, what else? The stroganoff. Amazing. That was my favorite. I am a huge fan. Of is that Russian? It's Russian. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So what is this? Stroganoff is a fucking meat cocktail with onions and mushrooms. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Rich, if it is mushroom season, you go to forest and you pick some up, you lazy fuck. Спортсмен по белым грибам. нашли. My favorite part: the sour cream. This will result in a compote of flavors that you have never experienced before. Beef and, and cream over yeah. rice. Amazing. How did I not know beef stroganoff was Russian? Because I've had it so many times in the US. You even have it in like, in like a TV dinner. But it doesn't sound Russian. It's not like German. Stroganoff doesn't sound Russian to no. you, Johnny? The stroganoff sounds Russian. Two Fs on the end? What other Russian words have two Fs in it? Um... 
for vodka, right? The, what's the vodka that you have something? Smirnoff. Smirnoff. There you go. Smirnoff. 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 Smirno
Alright, who's gonna demonstrate this? Can you, can you hold this? Okay. Guys, oh fuck, it's hot as shit. It's can you, still uh, steaming, buddy. Can you demonstrate this for us? No, it's hot as shit. <laughs> <laughs> you need to wait. No, 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 no. You, you, you do kind of wait. Oh fuck, it's hot. Okay, let's. Alright, Johnny, show us how you eat a Hinkali. Okay. Kachapuri. So. Hinkali. Hinkali. Uh -huh. So this is about, you know. Three seconds later, you know, yeah, Mushina, yeah. <laughs> Prabda Mushini. It's now been six minutes. First, what I do, I hold about this little top knot. So imagine this is a hipster. Is a messy high bun, particularly because it doesn't take that long to do. It's literally just chucking your hair. And I don't know if you guys remember, but after I did it, it completely changed the man bun undercut look for me. Hold the hipster, Johnny, and you take a little bite, right? So you can let the steam out because it's steamy in there. Mm. If you didn't do that and you just try to eat it, you burn your throat. So it's letting a little bit of steam out right now, as you can see. And then what I do is slurp as a soup. Oh, delicious. Oh, this is good. It's like gingery. Nice. Now the soup is slurped. Now you can take a bite. Continue to slurp. And actually, fun fact, since you've been in Japan, do you know why it People slurp for noodles and things like this? Yes, compliments to the chef. Mm. That is a compliment to chef, but scientifically, it tastes better. Do you know that? No, that is not And here's why, is when you're slurping, okay, taste has taste, but also smell. Mm -hmm. I'm dripping on myself. Oh, this is so good. So, the taste, not just your taste buds, it's actually, you know, the, the visual, right? There's only two things in the world that use all five senses at the same time. The way it looks, the way it smells, the way it sounds, whether it's like crunchy or honey, yeah, yeah. kind of yeah. uh, and the way it feels, the texture. The other one I'll let you guys guess, but, the smell actually doesn't come through your nose on how it smells because you're not actually doing that when you're eating. The smell comes from the back of your throat when you're eating. And when you're bringing air in, it accentuates. So when you're slurping noodles or slurping food, you're bringing air in, which brings in the smell. Not the science guy. Describe. It's like when you're drinking wine, you you know, slap it with air together so you get aroma. That's the same idea. That slurp. Mm. That's how you do it. How's that one? How's it compare? Delicious. Yeah. That is soup in there. Yeah, it's good, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of a little gingery as well. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Love it. Okay. I'm not slurping on camera, mm. no. No, I'm not. I'm not. She's too classy for that. I'm too classy for that. Yeah, and it's too hot for her right now. Yeah, it's too hot. Okay. Don't fucking record me. What did I just say? It's me. It's me. So the wine came. One time. Okay. This is the This is the dry one. Yes. Half liter. Yes. How's this one taste? I haven't tried it. I still have the semi. Oh no. Okay. I'll try it. It's dry. It's dry. It's dry. It's much dry. It's a little bit. It's still sweet. So fun fact, actually, I learned this at a wine tasting somewhere. When you taste wine, you're all supposed to kind of like suck in air. It's so little sweet. So you can really tell. Yeah. Uh, so I was saying earlier, off camera, that Georgian food in Ukraine is actually tastier than Georgian food in Georgia. But that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense until you factor in economics. May I speak to Professor Phelps, please? Uh, who's calling? I'm calling from the Nobel Foundation, and my name is Adam Smith. <laughs> Money rolls everything. Yeah. Okay. 
So, in Ukraine, most Georgian restaurants are pretty nice, right? Like, think, think of your, like, kind of favorite Georgian restaurants, right? We have, like, what? Oh. Is it here? Like, my favorite Georgian restaurants here? Yeah, in Ukraine. Yeah, sure. But what, what, what are your favorite Georgian restaurants? I really like Chichiko up in, um, in the uh, Golden Gate area. Okay. That's really good for lunch. Um, there's Mukali, which is down here uh, downtown. Quite good. Okay. Yep. The other famous ones are like Mama Minyana, Mama Mahana. Mama Mahana. <coughs> Uh, yeah, Hachimori and Vino. So all the ones we named are all excellent. But they're all like kind of nicer restaurants. You know, they're not like cheap fast food restaurants. They're like, you know, sit down, good service, like a nice wine, you know? And because of that, they have high quality ingredients, high quality food, like, like high quality service. In Georgia, even in Tbilisi, the capital, Georgian food is eaten at home. I mean, people go to restaurants, they kind of just, you know, go for other other type of food. So Georgian food in Georgia is just food. So when you go to a Georgian restaurant, most of them just serve kind of like basic food, almost like a pizzata hot So you, you pay a lot less, it's way cheaper. Like a Kinkali here is, you know, between 12 and 18 weaver now, which is like 50 cents, it's still pretty cheap. But there, it'll be like half that or quarter that. So they what are you talking about? This is like a hundred. What are you talking about? The, no, no, Kachipuri? not Kachipuri. Kankali. Oh, Kankali. Okay, Kankali. Okay, okay. So Kankali here is like, this, actually, this restaurant is actually cheaper than the other ones, but normally it's like 75 cents or almost a dollar per, per piece. In uh, Georgia, in Tbilisi, even, it's like 25 cents a piece. So they just cannot actually give you as good ingredients or as much meat. And that's kind of just the price, because if they made it more, nobody would eat it. So, therefore, we are having the best order food in the world right now. At this very restaurant, in this very city. So, sorry to disappoint you guys when you go to Georgia. I don't know, I've never been, so... You'll find out. Okay. You guys will find out. Johnny knows how to eat, so... If nothing else, Johnny can eat. All right, that was a freaking feast, guys. I'm definitely How are you feeling? Same. Very happy. Uh, Elena, should we stop by McDonald's after this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was good, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys find some Georgian food wherever you live, because it sometimes ex exists in the city. Won't be as good as here in Ukraine, but good luck. Good luck on your trip, guys. Thanks. See you around, Johnny, somewhere in the world. Yeah, sounds good. Definitely celebrating. Uh, Georgia is definitely a celebratory place. Uh, shopping shops.